Good evening, Lakeside. I've always wanted to say that. Here I am in uh, Colorado. There you are in Frimley Green, 4,672 miles separating us. Uh, but we are connected by this uh, unique uh, uniqueness that is Radio Frimley Park and Hospital Radio. Uh, I go back to 1988. 98 till um, about 1995 is when I was uh, with the station. Annie Allen helped me uh, get on board. And uh, I've got to say, uh, the experience from that and the people that I met that has obviously lived longer uh, after I departed, uh, but the experience that I gained from, from Frimley Park Hospital Radio uh, has afforded me this uh, and a career in broadcasting and a career in the media that has taken me all around the world with the BBC and, and finally landed here in Colorado three and a half years ago as, uh, as a TV play-by-play -play and TV host. So here I am uh, calling it uh, the game of soccer. Uh, enjoying life and I hope you guys are too. I go back to 1988 as a 17-year-old helping out with the Thursday night quiz, I think it was, uh, maybe the Monday night quiz. Um, also helped out, uh, did, a, did a show on a Saturday, did a show on a Sunday. I think I ended up doing the Monday night quiz as a, as a presenter in the end. Uh, but when it all started as a 17-year-old, I used to cycle from Sandhurst um, and I used to go up uh, what is now well, the Yorktown Industrial Estate past what is, uh, where is now Sainsbury's uh, to Frimley Park Hospital and uh, get to the studio and, uh, and do my bit there. Since when, 28 years, 27 years on, 28 years on, um, my three children have all been born at Frimley Park Hospital. My eldest is 15, my youngest is 5 and uh, so many happy memories from, from that time, from, from 88 to 95. So have a great night. Happy birthday to Radio Frimley Park. Another 40 years plus for the radio station, just getting stronger and stronger. And uh, to those who remember me, hope you're well. Life's treating you well. To everybody else, have a great night. Enjoy it. And uh, hopefully catch up soon. Bye-bye. Hello, it's Alan Dedicote here, the voice of Strictly Come Dancing, the voice of the balls, and goodness knows what else. Wishing everyone at Radio Frimley Park congratulations on achieving 40 years of service to patients of Frimley Park Hospital. It's been a terrific effort from all former and current members to get to this great landmark. I've been told about that. I'm from a hospital radio background myself, so I do know what hard work it is.
Hello Frimley Green and hello Radio Frimley Park. It's me, Chris Bentley, ex-member of Radio Frimley Park. I'm sorry I can't be there tonight, but I hope you're having a fantastic evening at Lakeside. I just wanted to share with you some of the memories that I have of Radio Frimley Park, right from the moment I got in touch with Frank when I was a reporter on the Aldershot News. I wanted to find out more about what the charity did, and so he showed me around the studio and showed me the important work of RFP, not just in presenting, but also in visiting the wards and speaking to the patients. I joined up as a member, was a member for about five years and had some fantastic times, not just in presenting but also in outside broadcasts. I was a member on the committee and of course one half of the all important Ben and Chris show. So I look back on my time at RFP really fondly. I'm delighted that you're celebrating 40 years tonight and I look forward to the next milestone. Have a great rest of the evening. The hospital with today's best music. Best music. Radio Frimley Park. Frimley Park.